Now from Louisiana's News Channel, this is 9 News This Morning. On your health this morning, we're looking into some new software providing patients with knee replacement surgery extremely specific targeted care. Yeah, find out what one expert's talking about here, and um, maybe it could be the future for some folks. Each year, more than 800,000 people undergo knee replacement surgery here in these United States. A very common surgery sure. at that. Robotic surgery, though, has become the norm. Right. But now there's a new technique that's allowing doctors to be even more precise, allowing patients to heal faster. From the everyday wear and tear to the extreme, the knee is the most injured joint in the body. No two knees are alike. Orthopedic surgeon Jeffrey DeClaire was one of the first to perform a total knee replacement. And now he is one of the first to use a, a navigation software that not only makes sure the new knee is in the exact right spot, but the ligaments are as well. So the balance spot is a method to measure ligament tension throughout the full range of motion on the inner half of the knee and the outer half of the knee. Traditionally, surgeons use their own experience and standard guidelines to position the ligaments around the implant. It didn't include the, the, uh, the tension or the balance of ligaments. Now, BalanceBot is taking out the guesswork. The system creates a 3D model in real time of the patient's movement. After surgeons open the knee, two paddles on the BalanceBot are inserted, recording range of motion. The software then proposes an initial implant plan based on the anatomy of each individual patient. The software can predict how much of the ligament should be saved to optimize balance and joint stability. Literally being able to balance the ligaments within a half a millimeter and to achieve rotational position within a half a degree. Giving patients and their knees a better chance at getting back to 100%. And get this, clinical trials on more than 1,200 patients show satisfaction of almost 98% as compared with the 75 to 80% with traditional knee replacement. So it seems to be a big improvement. And with all these surgeries happening in the United States, Steve, it's a big deal.